So I think Paul ruined our bet. Yeah, that was bullshit. <laughs> I don't know. I think you win. Cause, I think you win because he didn't fucking die. He didn't die, technically. God. But it's implied he's gonna die. In the it's movie. implied he's fucking next. Right, Unless he keeps banging hookers. So we saw. Like, what was with that? Like, he goes by the hookers? I think he. And was he like, I kind of am thinking of banging these at hookers? Least, at least they, they, they knew that, the idea of that. Which I was. They, they figured out the idea, but he was like, I like this one bitch who keeps fucking everything up. <laughs> so we but just, I'm my friend, I'm gonna shoot her and not care. So oh, so we just saw It Follows. I've been here I've been hearing about this movie for like since last year, for like months. You I heard like, about it before. Yeah. And I just like I again I'm not a type for horror movies, but like the metaphor of basically like an S T D embodying like an endless ghost. I thought that metaphor is so brilliant. It's pretty great. And like the, what they do within the movie, it's so like it's perfect. Like they give you just enough rules to know how it works. Here's a few rules. You're gonna figure out some hints along the way. But how, it's so like none of it's gonna help. <laughs> but ge but generally like it's so like uh it's undefined enough so that way it can do what anything. I was kind of hoping the whole it would touch you and then horrible things would happen like your skin would start getting necrosis or something. Yeah. But instead it's just like I'm gonna pull your hair. <laughs> I was like, come on. I like it's invisible. Disintegrate her. It's just invisible. Yeah. No, I'm trying to figure out how in the beginning of the movie, there's the one girl, and she's just like, she's in the middle of the beach. And yeah, what happened to her jump, leg? <laughs> jump cut. She's dead, and her her leg is like all the way up, and her leg's like half So off. we've established later on that the ghost thing kills you by fucking you hard, apparently, or something, and yeah. you slowly die. So what was that? She's like, hey, hey, girly, you flexible? <laughs> bang, bang. Yeah. Is that what the ghost did to that? I mean, that's so weird. It's so inconsistent yeah. with that whole leg thing. I don't know what happened there. Yeah, but like it, it shows, it's, it's like a perfect, it's sort of. I it, feel like whatever happened to that Greg dude should have been more violent. Yeah. Like maybe have him be some bloody and his leg ripped or something. I don't know what was going on with the light. I thought he just like went into like some kind of dark hole or something. The what? No, because like when she looks to see what happened to him, it's all like flashing. Yeah, and it was the lamp. I thought like I was, what? I was like, yeah, is it dark matter or something <laughs> flickering with the lights? Yeah, but uh, like it's such like I think a perfect setup, and then like what they do with the idea is like I can only think of brilliant. Like that whole like the whole climax. I love the idea. The execution's fine, but I feel like there should have been more resolution and less setup for everything. Horror movies are really hard to do. I think resolution like uh, they're hard honestly, to resolve. Yeah, properly. I would have just had him die, both of them, and have it go back to the one dude having to run and find some other girl to pawn this shit off of. Yeah. But, like, there's so much city set up. Yeah. Like, god damn. Now, I was thinking, like... Like, I get the whole, your perspective, you're gonna die, you're starting to I'm, realize how I was the thinking, is. like, after oh, fuck, after the, the guy the guy died, I thought, like, it was, the movie's gonna end, like, when she's walking to the guys on the boat. Yeah, me too. Because then, like, it'd be, like, a callback end. thing, because now she she's, like, acting like the... Like a whore. Like... No, she's walking the same way, like the guy, like the, what do I call it? I could call it just it, but then it's gonna get really confusing. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. ghost. I thought that'd be a good, or a I call it a killer, but just to make it easier. I know you called the killer, but like I thought. The killer just did not want to answer that question. I don't know, but like some of the casting choices are awesome because like it's just like one. It starts like with a weird old lady, then it goes with this scary ass like tall guy. No, it goes like through this like no, drown no, 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 chick, no. naked girl. Old lady, giant. half naked girl pissing herself. Yeah. Giant dude. Giant dude. Yeah. <laughs> the pissing itself didn't seem necessary. Yeah. Like is, I it, thought she is was that a kitchen actually wet? I thought she was a seven year period. It's not red. I, I thought I saw a little red. It was piss. No. You have your you, you see your thing your thing I see mine. All right. <laughs> But uh, like a lot of like again like to me some of the, like the ideas that come up with it are brilliant like a uh, like the ending like I thought like I didn't know where they're going with the ending but like what they do with it I think it's like a really cool idea with them holding hands and walking off no like when they're in the pool in the high school <laughs> and, like she, like well, the ghost is like hey fuck your idea <laughs> yeah I thought like maybe she could just live like at sea for, like ever I was like why not get a houseboat yeah. <laughs> It's like it's like I'm the like, alien. Idea. Houseboat. It's like the aliens in signs. You just like you surround yourself in water, yeah, and they're like, fine, yeah, you're, you're they can't get you. They're fucked. Yeah. I totally thought houseboat. Yeah. Houseboat, and you're fine. 
Or a spaceship. Or, like, yeah, like, my main pro- my only real problem with the movies are, like, I feel it could have ended anywhere in, like, the last 20, 25 minutes. Like, it could have ended at when she's at, on, at the ocean. She could have well, ended, I was could... hoping there'd be more resolve than any of those endings and the actual ending. Yeah. Like, she has to pay. She like has, the... Something has to happen in which she suffers. Like, when you saw, like, when it was all, like, the blood of the thing is covering filling the whole yeah pool. i was just like what happened? what the fuck you could have ended there i, I was imagining it's like all red cut to black it follows i super thought that was gonna happen like yeah. it was gonna bleed out into black <laughs> no, <it's... laughs> and i was gonna be pissed i know but like that way at least it would have been like vague enough because you, you know it can't <laughs> die really yeah, but then it makes you think it was defeated. And yeah. the whole point is, nope, not defeated. Yeah. Like, it got shot in the head twice and was like, hey, fuck Ow. you. Come on, guys. Come on, dick. <laughs> Just for that, I'm gonna yell at you later. I thought, <laughs> I'm wondering, like, is, is it dead? Or, like, you know, when he, they finally pull it off the pool, I thought they were gonna, like, actually tra- activate, like, whatever electricity tra- trap they were doing. I have no idea how that system worked. I, I thought they were trying to run away. Me too. I didn't know they were going to try to set up, like... That was a, a pl- dumbass. But, like, yeah. the idea, like, you don't see it, but she has to keep pointing at it, and then, like, while the stuff's flying in at her... He fucking shoots his friend! <laughs> Come on! These are the worst shots ever. And I love how your point, like, these kids... I don't know if they're high... Are they high school or college? They're college. college. Um, the girl should be 21 based off her getting a drink with her boyfriend, who was then 21 and drinking it. Okay. So I established she's got to be around 21. And her sister was, like, probably high school or something? I feel like older... I think they're definitely college because they don't miss... Because they just don't go to school. Yeah. They just go it's off with her and do things. Yeah. I, can, I think it's us. I can't tell... They, say, they reference 8 Mile, but I don't know if that's... Specifically, like East Coast, something. Because I think the movie's it's definitely set in like East Coast. Is it, yeah, something like that. Or Detroit, he said. Because I think uh, it's yeah. not set in Australia. It's Detroit. Okay, whatever. Like whatever. full on Detroit. Okay. Like he says, <laughs> it's we're shooting trip. in Detroit, and something was dangerous. <laughs> I believe some. This isn't Mad when Max. They're, when they're in the when they're in like the abandoned neighborhoods, I believe that entirely. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, why not just go in one of those houses? Those yeah. seem classy. <laughs> So I was bringing up a point. <laughs> I love the old look at my junk, look at my junk. Yeah. I don't, I don't see the whole point of her just staring at her junk and then yeah. a ball. Oh yeah, ball <laughs> junk. It, it happened like after like she first encounters the thing and she's like this sort of scared. And now she's looking at her like her pubes. And I was like, and, and then like there's like I was the, totally expecting there to be something wrong with her pubes or her or her vagina like yeah. black or something like some kind of diseasey. And outside. then all of a sudden like and no, she's just paying attention to her vagina. Jump scare with like a giant volleyball, a loud yeah. volleyball noise, which actually got me. I don't. Get and I'm like, and, and then it cuts like just the ball, this dodgeball lying on the yeah. ground, and I'm like, burn it with, burn it with fire, and then kill it. We laughed for a long time on that one. <laughs> that and a uh, old lady following her, and come here, dearie, <laughs> come on. <laughs> During all the jump scares, I kept be drinking coffee. I was like, hmm. <laughs> During all the jump scares, I was like mid sip. <laughs> okay, I, I forgot to mit- explain the whole Paul joke from the beginning. Which one? I, oh, how Paul is gay? Yeah, so like, okay, so like... He's with the totally girl, gay! With the girl, she has like two guy friends. One's like the cool guy who like who, who like goes on hunting trips and, has, and owns a gun and has the cool hair. And the other one's like... And the, no parental supervision. Yeah, and the other one's like the childhood best friend who they shared the first kiss with. And, who is totally gay. And like, yeah. I kept saying, look, I we had a bet. It was like, I think he's gonna live. You think? He's I gonna... was sure he was gonna die in the first. Half and we were like, we're gonna bet on this. I mean, if it was a normal horror movie, that bitch would be dead. Yeah. No, and then that the entire time, and the entire and then time, he'd be dead. And he's like, uh, what device has come over? I'll make sure you're okay. And Nick's like, he's gonna get some. Get some. And die. I'm like, Paul, no, <laughs> you're, you're gay. gay. <laughs> no, I do not want to spend three bucks. <laughs> Oh, no. I was like, so, I was so getting ready because I figured they were setting up because of all the sexual glances they kept giving each other. Yeah. I was like, okay, so Paul is into the main girl, so they're going to sleep together. And then her her sister is into Paul, so they're going to sleep together. And that guy next door, you know, the one with the hair? Yeah. He is into the sister, so they're going to sleep together. 
They're probably like passing it down the friend line and then he was gonna sleep with the girl with glasses. I super thought it was gonna be like a friend line of just fucking cause it yeah. kept it kept doing the come hither looks between them. Yeah. I was like, okay, so you're yeah. setting up so this is gonna happen, this is gonna happen, this is gonna happen. Yeah. And then just fucking no one dies. Yeah. <laughs> I figured it was gonna be like all her friends were gonna die and then she was just gonna like kill herself. Yeah. <laughs> Not hey, let's do a dumb Scooby Doo trap. Yeah. A little bit. Because they kept trying to set up the sexual tension between them. I guess. But like, I still like the like setup when, when, uh, when the dude with the hair is looking at the girl with glasses' ass, it's just like this slow pan up. Mm -hmm. Or the sister's watching the dude with the hair wash his car all slow. Yeah. Or Paul keeps trying to hold her hands. Or they're making jokes of Paul. It's like, come on, we get it. Sexual tension, go down the chain. Yeah. You've been setting this up the whole movie. I didn't even realize she was going the prostitute angle. <laughs> Just like, hire a prostitute, do that, leave like a really big tip and a note. You got yourself at least a You don't even have to leave a note. <laughs> They're just gonna keep fucking people. I know, but at least give a warning as to yeah. what's gonna happen. Just be like, hey, continue boning people, don't have regulars. Tell your friends to do- tell like your regular regulars to do that too. But that'd be like, meta obvious solution. Uh, I don't poke holes in the like, the strat, but I mean, come on, they kept setting up the sexual tension and the looks. Yeah. It, it, it's not just, hey, we're horny teens. Yeah. It was like, come on, okay, you're setting up these relationships, you're spending a lot of time on it, I want payoff. Yeah. Instead, the payoff is, hey, I shot you. Hey, that's cool. <laughs> I love how cool she is. Like, at the end of the movie, she's, like, she's in the hospital, she's reading her... Uh, Doyevsky. I don't remember yes, what the... Yes. She's eating her sandwich, drinking her juicy juice, and her, like, a fruit cup. Being sexy. It's like, you know what? You have a good life. Don't be, don't have sex. That's good. Yeah, she Get just doesn't bone them. Yeah. Smart girl. Yeah, she's just reading the entire time. She only runs, like, once in the movie. She doesn't do anything. She's great. For a horror movie, this has a super low head count. Two yeah. people. That's it. Okay, and one you don't movie... even get to know. For... <laughs> yeah. The first one's, hey, this chick who runs in heels, good on her. Yeah. She can really run in some heels. Yeah. I was proud. I know, I noticed that too. I was like, that is some sweet running in heels, girly. This is really... Well, you are good at that. <laughs> that score, the score is great. The score, yeah. And then... The use of cinematography is great, because it's all about, like... There's so much empty space in the background that you're always looking for someone to, like, pop up. Yeah. I love that part where that girl with, like, the volleyballs come by and they're like... And, like, headphones? She's like, <gasps> Do you guys see her? Yeah. yeah. Okay, yeah. good. <laughs> <laughs> just cuts like, yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> but I feel like they just spent so much setup on the relationships to have zero payoff. I guess. I kept looking for payoff on jokes, like the book, or just like some sort of payoff on these relationships, but there keeps being a lack of payoff. Well, in any case, I think this was so scarier than Lazarus Effect. No, I'm going to give it to Lazarus Effect. <laughs> No, I'm, I'm gonna literally give it to Lazarus Effect. I like this. I, I like that cool score thing with the music. Yeah. And I mean, Olivia Wilde. Yeah. It's pretty creepy. I feel like the the metaphor of this. The me the, the so metaphor. For me, is it's great. so brilliant. The metaphor is great. I wasn't that fond of the execution. Okay. I dig the score. Sometimes, like they could have had more serious music. I feel like that music, <laughs> super light. I mean, if you're going for light, go really cheery, but it was like super light music. They could have gone darker. But Disaster Piece, I like your score. And, uh, and like, to, to try liked, to be realistic. A lot of it, I was like, okay, it's overdone. You're, it's too much foreshadowing. Yeah. It's like, oh, expect something. Oh, this, oh that reminds me, like, I just realized. I was thinking about this, like, halfway it's in like, the movie. It's, it's like a spoiler. The this, music is a lot like a spoiler. This or Under the Skin? Or would you cut? Would you compare Under those? Under the skin. Guy, compare. Under the skin is way better. But you, you would compare them. It's even more of a horror movie. Yeah. It is a better horror movie by far. A little bit, yeah. Under like, the skin, also a better indie movie, a better uh, horror movie, and a sexier movie. Considering this is a movie about boning people to transfer diseases. Yeah. And yet that one's sexy. That happened three times. Well, like, well, all the sex is now scary, given the, you know, given what the movie's trying to say. Same with Under the Skin! Yeah, that was different. That was Scarlett Johansson. The Moors don't have hey, sex It's still Johansson. scary because, like, hey, I want to bone this lady. Don't Goop. have sex with strangers. Goop. Goop. No, that's it. That one is, like, don't have sex with strangers. This Same one's, with this, this one. one. This one is don't have sex at all. Yeah, that's <laughs> Okay, I think that's about to, all we have. But, like... Oh, I, I dug the score when it was like that dropping sound. Yeah. That was like my favorite part of the score. Otherwise, the score was a lot of spoilers. Yeah. It was like... Ah! <laughs> that was the music. Okay, well... 
You should totally check the movie out, at least. It's, it's an interesting movie. Okay. Under the skin, better. Bye.